Hey guys, here we are for a short track guide in the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo at Silverstone. For this track guide, I'm going to show you the hot lap first, and then I'm going to break down the lap in slow motion to show my approach to each corner. Now before I get to the lap, I just want to show the settings that I'm using. I'm using a track temp of 79 degrees, and the air temp is 78 degrees, and it's, 9, 11, and it's about 9.12 in game, and we're using a track usage of 27%. Also, we're using a fixed setup with the only modification being that we lowered the fuel to 3 gallons. Now let's head on to the lap. Okay, now let's check out the lap in slow motion. So as we're coming to the finish line, just getting a good exit out of the final corner to cross the line with a lot of speed. You can see we're shifting right up to fourth gear as we cross the finish line around 160 miles per hour. So as we're heading over to turn one, we're just looking over to the left hand side for our braking zones. And we're going to be braking just past the 100 board around like the 80. And it's just really important not to cut the apex too much or else you get a 1x. But you can see we're just kind of splitting it. We're staying in fifth gear. You could shift down to fourth. You can see we're a bit understeering here. And this is putting us in a bad position for the next corner. So you can see we have to let off a little bit through this corner as we don't want to run wide over here. You kind of want to be in the middle here, unlike where I am on the right hand side. And because I'm a little bit offline, I'm going to be braking right at the 100. But if I pause right here, you can see just past the 100 there's the start of the curbing so normally that's kind of where you want to break just a little bit past but because I'm a little offline I break a bit earlier around 70% brake pressure down to second and then waiting to get to the apex till I shift to first patient on the throttle since we have a lot of steering input here around 80% throttle waiting to fully unwind the wheel to get back to 100 shifting up to second gear and then starting to try to break in a straight line right as we get to the striped part of the curb over here so about 20% brake pressure down to first gear and then trying to turn in a bit later than you hope than you expect to because you just don't want to hit the sausage curb on the inside. Again, being patient on the throttle, you want to wait till you unwind the wheel fully before you get back to throttle. And now as we go down this uh, long left-hander that turns onto the straight, just being careful to not cut this a little bit too much. Not because we'll get a 1x, but you can see if you just go onto the screen part of the curb, it kind of brings you onto this grass bit so then your tires can kind of lose a bit of traction. So I'm kind of trying to stay on this black and white curve and instead of the green curb just to avoid uh, getting a tire put in the grass. So anyways, we're just going to go down this uh, straight for a second, and then as we approach the braking zone, looking on the right-hand side, going to be passing the 150 and then 100. Again, braking just past the 100, around like the 80 or so. 
uh, downshifting to third, and we're, the goal is to try to stay in the middle of the track for most of this, late apexing, and then waiting to downshift to second. This car is actually really unstable through this section, um, just in the rear, so you really want to wait for the rear to sell before you downshift to second, or else you'll get a lot of oversteer. So again, downshifting to second, trying to apex like at the second red mark on the curbing, and then once you get back to throttle, you can see that you're putting yourself way over on the right-hand side, like not really in the best position, but... Because of this, we're going to try to dime in this corner. So we're going to go out wide initially, and you can see that there's these red um, marks on like the grass. We're going to be trying to apex at the fourth one. So that's the second. This is the third. We're in first gear, and we're trying to get back to throttle right around there. Now we can start to unwind the wheel by that fourth uh, red mark and use all the runoff on exit. So we're shifting up to fourth gear over here. When we're going, a lot of times you see guys going all the way over to like the wall here instead of staying on the curb. I did that and it looks like you can gain like a hundredth of a second, but it's not really a big difference. So you can stay on the curb or go all the way to the fence. It won't really make much of a difference. So as we're approaching cops here, again, looking at the left-hand side, the main goal here is to try to break a bit earlier than you expect. I'm breaking right at the 100 or just a little bit past, around 60% downshift to fourth, and you just got a nail hitting this inside curb. If you run wide, it's really going to push you wide, get a 1x, and it's just um, easy, easy to lose your a lot of time. So really focus on the exit more than the entry through cops through there. Now heading over to Maggots and Beckets, just a really flowy section, so really important to just be precise because if you mess up a corner, it'll hurt the next one. So again, staying flat through this next section, really trying to line yourself up with the sausage curb, and then tapping the brakes right at the end of the sausage curb, right around there, around 50%. Staying in fifth gear through here, but just trying to put yourself like on that, um, just in a nice position through here, uh, just clipping the inside curb, and then downshifting to third for this left-hander. And again, just trying to hold it right on this AstroTurf for a long time. A little bit back to throttle for a second, and then back to the brakes. You can downshift a second here if you'd like, but I'd like to keep it in third. Again, partial throttle through here, and then starting to unwind the wheel using all this um, uh, AstroTurf. If you get all four tires off, it will give you 1x. So you can see I'm just trying to use a lot of it, but not get fully off track to prevent that 1x. So try to use as much as you can. Now heading down the long straight to Stowe, again looking at the left hand side of the track, this corner is deceivingly like off camber just by a little bit, so it's really important not to uh, turn in too late since it's kind of hard to recover. So again, breaking just past the 100, around 70%, down to third gear pretty early, and trying to apex that like the third red mark here. So you can see there's um, one, two, three, so again trying to apex right at that one. Once you get back to there, you can start accelerating again and unwind the wheel. So trying to apex at that red mark. And now at this point of the lap, your tires are really hot, so it's really easy to uh, lose the rear on acceleration. So just be careful in this last chicane. Braking just past the 100 or just before, hard braking the straight line around 90%. You can see that I'm waiting uh, downshift to fourth and third and second, but waiting to get to first until I'm right at the apex, right around there. Again, uh, just uh, using build of thrall, being a bit patient, staying in first through, through here. And again, uh, you can see I have a lot of wheel input, so not... Uh, getting back to full throttle until I fully unwinded the wheel, or finally unwind the wheel. Um, up to third gear, back to f uh, up to fourth gear around the final corner, just trying to use as little wheel as you can. Again, the rear can be a little unstable around here. And to the line, using up all the, the runoff, and that's a lap around Silverstone. So that was a 2 minute .404 lap time. Hopefully this track guide was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.